That's my bad boy.
dash is painted. Oh man, it's just something. Y'all just only see it on the camera, and I tell you, camera does absolutely no justice. So, uh, sucks for y'all. So we got the dash, and the dash piece is officially painted. I didn't see no runs or anything like that. We'll get it all vacuumed out, get it all cleaned in detail before we fix it up. But pieces are officially painted, cleared, came out great. Got the grill painted black. Um, yeah, so what we'll do is pick it back up on this tomorrow. Um, I, I, it just depends on how late my, my lady, my wife, let me stay. So I might, I might go ahead and stay a little later and just go ahead and clear the whole thing, the exterior of it. And then it should, it'll be ready to sit in the sun for a few days so we can get the color sand and buffing process going on. So um, other than that, I'll cut y'all back on. In the next video, we got the dash painted, we got the pieces painted. After this, we'll be teeter-tottering, like I said, between the Camaro and the Monte Carlo. That Monte Carlo has got to be done by a certain date, but it has nowhere near as much as work as the Camaro. So my pops-in-law is actually still working on the Camaro. So once he's pretty much done and wrapped it up, which I think he is, um, we'll start that get back on the sand the process we started on the roof just to see how difficult it get to the you know get to that bare metal area but um not too bad not too bad so we actually got a new da can't wait to use it so um it'll tear that tear that paint straight down to the metal get that stripped down and shoe was just make some adjustments to the to the doors and hood latch and hood and uh taking that start taking that bad boy apart as well so yeah man it's definitely flowing as y'all see we got the big body that's gonna be a separate video the monte carlo is gonna be a separate video the don could be a separate video just doing my little catch up so i will cut y'all on in the next video if y'all haven't already hit the subscribe button man we climbing every day two coats of clear on here it's about three coats of candy midnight blue this thing is looking purple it's looking light blue dark blue all type of blues and then we got ebony black in the engine bay this is 8555 for the paint coat i like 8555 because it's just a lot deeper i got multiple blacks on the shelf and uh this is the darkest one out of them all um if you compare now obviously if i showed you black you would think it's black but it's multiple blacks um, and this is, like I said, is just more rich, more darker, and it's solid. Now, we single stage the bottom of the car as far as we could, front and back. Got the leaf springs, got all the jams, you know. All, yeah, all that, all that under there. Anyway, so um, yeah, she came out. She came out really, really great. Got to redo the deck lid. Got to redo the hood and the bottom the front bumper that is because the stripes are white and with white man you gotta avoid as much as trash as possible if you don't you'll have to re-clear it or reshoot it or yeah, yeah, yeah you'll have to probably sand it down and get that trash out and re-clear it um but i think it's on right on top of the white it's just a lot of dirty areas i can't let pass and slide uh, but for the most part, this thing laid down really, really slick. Um, I love the tone that it has. It feels like, I mean, it looks like it has multiple colors. And one, um, you guys cannot see what I can see. I can see um, a dark, dark purple. Let me look at my phone. Yes, I know you guys. Yeah, anyways, I don't even want to explain it. You're not going to see it. Anyways, got some dirt right here that's up underneath the clear coat um so yeah it's just minor stuff like that is why certain projects take a little longer than expected because those areas that you might have to fix um could cost you a day or two so it's no biggie man we're gonna get it done and i'm excited about this this thing this thing is slick man i cannot wait to put it all together uh we got our stripes lined up got our stripes lined up so 
definitely excited about that. The, this particular piece came out pretty good. Um, the small pieces that we spray. So we spray these at, at different times and then uh, clear them at different times. We're gonna re-clear this hood. We'll re-clear that. No, we'll re-spray the white. Try to cover up what we can, the imperfections. Now we'll, we'll sand it first. If we can't get the trash out, the dirt out, um, we might have to respray it because I think the dirt is actually in the white. It might be in the white. I don't know. I don't think it is. No, it's not because before I cleared it, it was fine. We tacked it. And then with this, you know, environment, man, we did wet the floor. We did blow all the dirt and dust out. Um, we did prep the garage in order for us to, you know, paint it. And, you know, you get lucky and have, you know, a flawless paint job. And then sometimes you don't get so lucky. Um, and it's not a big deal. It's just something you have to just sand down and reshoot. So luckily we're not doing a whole car. So it's just the parts. We'll take that deck lid off the car and then go ahead and spray the parts. And then we'll let it dry and then just uh, install everything, put everything back on and then have this thing ready to go. The last thing to do on this car is to go ahead and get it color sand and buffed. We have the dash painted, have all the interior pieces painted. We have underneath the car painted. So definitely, definitely excited about this one, man. Um, can't wait to put it all the way together and see how she look in the sun. We'll pull it out in the sun today, put the wheels on it, roll it out the way. Going to start some body work on about three different cars. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to prime the dunk. We'll get the uh, Camaro started on, uh, sanding process, and then... Uh, this Camaro over here, this bad boy right here, really. And then these two, we'll pull these out in the front. Those are going in the front. So, man, we shuffle some stuff around and then get started on some. So, um, like I said, with this process, man, I don't know if I'll probably do like one more video. The last video will be, um, it all put together. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button to stay tuned on this process and I will cut y'all back on probably on a different project we're gonna hop on the next project we'll get the next project started on that on the next vehicle um gotta look at my schedule and um get the body work started on the ones that's outside and uh like i said i'll cut y'all back on once this bad boy is finished 